If you use default shadow presets in Figma or Sketch, stop doing this. In this video, I will show you how to make shadows in your UI designs more attractive. You will also learn four more tactics for other aspects of design. Hey, Talion here. I hope you enjoyed the last video with UI design tactics. Today we will talk about some different aspects of design, so without further ado, let's dive into it. The first tip for today, add more context to the message you present to the user. Look at these two models, both looks pretty much the same. The only difference is the icon, the left symbol is generic, the one on the right is more contextual. This positive green symbol with the check mark suggests users that the symbol is success that is positive even without reading the rest of the content. Remember, communication is much more than text. Images, photos, illustrations, icons, they all help users to find out what is the context of the specific message. Always help them recognize the intention. The second tip, use the color of the links for the breadcrumbs. Actually, this tactic depends on the context and goal of the specific solution. However, if you want to help your users to browse through categories, use color that is applied to the links in the breadcrumbs. The next tip, as I mentioned in the intro, avoid the default presets in your design tools for the shadows. They look ugly. Use soft shadows instead. Your developers complain about the soft shadows? Show them how to make it. Check out the link in the description. Another UI design tactic. Use the same hue for neutrals across the entire solution. Neutral colors help to establish visual balance in the user interface. However, it's easy to ruin this harmony by using various hues of grey. Keep the same hue for neutral colors across the entire solution. To make it easier, switch your color picker in Figma or Sketch to SHB or SHL. Thanks to this, you will keep hue the same and play only with saturation or brightness. The last tactic for today, guide the user instead of showing errors. The perfect error message will be never as good a simple hint that will guide the user to accomplish his goal. When your solution has got strict rules, like in this case creating a password, inform the user about the constraints and the level of compliance. This way they will feel more comfortable using your app. Avoid displaying errors in this case, this is not user fault that they don't know the specific rules. Okay, that was the second part of UI design tactics. I hope you enjoyed them. You may also see them on my Instagram or Twitter profile. You may also see them as a weekly summary on my blog, uxmithfit.com. I'm also thinking of gathering 1000 practical tactics for UI design in the form of a book. With this, you will be able to practice UI design and move in the right direction when it comes to quality of your work. If you are interested, you may already pre-order it. Release is planned for this fall. That's all for now. Leave a comment, like video, and subscribe if you haven't. See you soon.